All right, guys, full of coming to you with another video. I hope all is well with you guys. So, um, you know, I really don't report on MMA like that. I mean, there's a couple of fighters that I mess with in the MMA. Um, not many, but there's a couple that I like. Uh, the main ones that I like are of course you know i'm gonna go for my africans fellow africans that's just gonna be by default so you know you have the likes of kamaru usman you also have the likes of um uh israel adesanya who is a new zealand based fighter but you know of nigerian origin and uh you know you have francis Ngannou, who i am going to speak about uh, and I also go for the Dagestani uh, fighters as well because they're just built different. You know, those are just a different breed of fighter. I like them, you know, um, so I go for them as well. So, you know, you have the likes of uh, Khabib, Khabib Nurmagomedov, who finished his uh, career undefeated. But you also has, have his brother now, I think, or, or a relative. Uh, his name is Saeed. And he's now making his rounds into the uh, UFC as well. But anyhow, um, what I really wanted to speak about was the simple fact that now, uh, you know, we're in a situation where, um, you know, we know boxing is messed up. I mean, we know boxing, we, we hardly get the fights we want. We know with boxing, we hardly, you know, we, you know, we're always, it's always like, what if, you know, with boxing, we already understand that. Even on my channel, it's, it's a lot of my videos are what ifs, you know, m many things are not even written in paper or signed or the dotted line is not signed. You know, MMA to a lesser extent is like that, you know, but a way lesser extent. Most of the time, guys are messed up and they will fight each other, which I have to give MMA, MMA the utmost respect for making that happen. However, um, as messed up as boxing is, right? MMA fighters uh, tend to gravitate to the boxing. You know, uh, I think what happened was when Conor McGregor made the transition from boxing to uh, from 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 MMA to boxing, I think that's when all hell broke loose. Because I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, Conor McGregor made more money boxing than pretty much like a couple of his MMA checks combined. You know what I mean? So with that being said, you know, uh, of course people are going to want to box. So you had the likes of, um, you had the likes of Nate Diaz saying that he wanted to box. You had the likes of, uh, who else, who else? Uh, the, the Cuban guy, Masvidal saying he wanted to box. You had the likes of uh, Kamaru Usman saying that they wanted to box as well, because I'm gonna be honest, they would have made they would make more money boxing a marquee name than they would fighting a MMA fight. Okay, um, so now we fast forward and we have Francis and Uh and the crazy thing is, you know, Tyson Fury has um, has actually you know sent a tweet to um he, he actually sent a tweet to francis and ganu saying hey nice win come make some real money you know hinting that he you know he's like hey we can get in the ring and dance too right um you know dana white is not happy about that and the thing is, is we have to go deeper into the fact that, you know, Francis Ngannou has not signed a new contract. This is what is making Dana White even more offended. 
And another thing that we have to understand is the simple fact that when, you know, Francis Ngannou had his win against uh, the Sorel guy, I don't know his name, some French guy, he beat him at his own game. He actually took him down. He used takedown moves to take him down. And so congratulations, kudos to him. Uh, But at that win, unfortunately, you didn't have Dana White there to congratulate him. You didn't have Dana White there to put the belt on him like he usually does. And you also did not have uh, Dana White at the press conference, the the post-fight press conference. Dana White was not there. And that reason being, uh, Francis Ngannou didn't sign a new contract. So with this, with, with this being said, you know, I hate to say this, but it's a matter of kind of like the LeBron James syndrome. Uh, let me wait until this plane passes by real quick. I'm outside with it. I just got done out the gym, got some rounds in got a lot of rounds in actually you know um but here's the thing it comes down to the lebron james syndrome you know how lebron james at times he's outspoken about certain issues and certain people say just shut up and play you know just shut up make your money and play this is the same thing with francis and ganu uh francis and ganu is kind of you know, being vocal about the discrepancy in pay between like Miss Martial Artists and prize fighters in boxing. So, you know, you have Dana White saying, don't worry about boxing, you focus on MMA. You know what I mean? Being that, you know, Francis Ngannou wants more money. You know what I mean? So, you know, you have this situation where it's, it's a matter of it's kind of a matter of, unfortunately, that colonial mindset. You know, because you look at a colonial mindset, and and, and many of them have told me this as well. Like, they have told me, hey, you should be happy. You shouldn't be saying much. You're here in America. You you were able to get your education. You are, you're, you're doing your boxing and stuff like that. You shouldn't be speaking about certain issues. You should just be doing what continue to do what you do and so th- this is the case with um dana white and francis and ganu because francis and ganu is not just speaking for himself he's speaking for all mma athletes you know what i mean so with this being said um you know dana white is looking at it as okay this guy is from a third world country cameroon uh, he shouldn't be saying anything. You know, he comes from a third world country. You know, we're actually doing him a favor, although he wants more pay because he feels like he's getting paid in peanuts, kind of. He shouldn't be talking. He shouldn't be, um, he shouldn't be like complaining. He should just be accepting what's coming to him, regardless of it. And I think Francis Ngannou is thinking, hey, well, you know, I'm doing the training camp. Like these training camps cost a lot of money. I have to pay my trainer. I have to, you know, I I have to have investments and stuff like that. I need to be set up for life. You know what I mean? That's what he's thinking. So with this being said, um, Dana White is not really happy about that, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, and I know this is going to sound pretty messed up, but I think Dana White is low-key a racist. You know, I, I, I just really think so. Like, there's something in me that says, yeah, this dude, this dude's a racist. Uh, just something about his behavior. I mean, even when he did the thing with Khabib, when K- Khabib, like, beat the brakes off of Conor McGregor, you know, he, he had all the energy for what Khabib did, but lacked the energy uh, for what Conor McGregor was doing. Even at the press conference, you know, he, he didn't even say, yo, calm down, you know, you're doing too much. He didn't say that, man. So this is kind of why I'm like, okay, well, I kind of see where this, I, I kind of see what time it is with this guy. 
So we fast forward and we um, we look at you know we look at all the particulars and there's another particular that makes Dana White pretty upset. You know, Francis Ngannou is signed to a different management company than the the rest of uh, the Dana White fighters. So this doesn't go down too well with Dana White as well. You know, these are these are the issues that we have to, you know, that we have to understand. Now, another thing, too, we have to understand. And I'm going to end on this note. I'm going to end on this note. I'm going to I'm going to end on this note, too. Um, at one time, Dana White was going to try to get into some boxing. You know what I mean? And this is kind of like a contradiction because he, he felt that boxing was like he, he can add and contribute to boxing. But it's like, OK, what are you going to add and contribute to boxing when you don't even pay your fighters the amount of money which they feel they're entitled to and which I have to agree with? You know, that they deserve top dollar for the fact that now the audience has kind of shifted to MMA because I honestly, no matter like losses kind of don't matter in MMA, they're still going to match people up with, uh, you know, top opponents. So the losses don't really affect, um, you know, these guys getting fights, unlike boxing. You know, and I think that's, of course, one thing that boxing can take from MMA that, uh, uh, you know, that maybe would be good. Right. So my thing is, OK, what would, would it what would he add to MMA? I mean, boxing. Uh, you had talks of even Mikey Garcia possibly signing with Dana White. But to me, he wouldn't add anything to boxing. And the reason that being is. If he's underpaying paying athletes, if he's underpaying athletes in MMA, what will change in boxing? You know what I mean? Uh, we, and then, okay, if he decided, okay, I'm gonna pay more, I'm, I'm gonna pay uh, guys more money in boxing versus MMA, then guess what's gonna happen? You'll probably have a, a exodus of MMA fighters going to boxing. You know what I mean? Therefore, he's he, he's cutting himself out. So, you know, it, we, we got to wait and see what happens with Francis and Ganu. Uh, and what, whatever his, his move is, you know, the best of luck to him in that move. And, and you know, we just got to wait and see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, Dana White is not happy that he hasn't signed a contract and it is what it is. You know, uh, we just got to play things by ear, you know, we will figure it out. But anyhow, man, that's all I got for now. You guys leave your thoughts and leave your comments on this situation and I'll be back with another one. Fuller signing out. Ninja Ramon.